Hello everyone! Welcome back to another Banner Reaction. I'm DTM as always, and I have with me a very special guest. Why don't you introduce yourself, uh, Zizvov G. I think that's how you say it? That is correct. Hello, my <laughs> name is Ziz. You can just call me Ziz for short. Uh, good to be here. You know, I've been watching DTM's videos for a while, so it's fun to be here. I am excited to check out these New Year's Heroes. Uh, probably some books say, or yeah, book six OCs and whatnot. Looks like we had Elm and Yarn from the Silhouettes, I believe. Yeah, so, that's what I'm thinking too. And I think that's yeah. what most people are thinking about on like face social media. Um, do you right. have any hopes besides those two that you want to see? So I've been thinking about the duo hero and there's quite a few ones that I think would be good. I think the two that I want to see the most is either Asker and Embla or Letizia and Veronica. Something like that. I know there's also the possibility of Asker and Ash, but I don't even know, dude. I'm just, I'm ready to see and potentially be surprised or disappointed. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would love an Asker Embla duo. That's all I ask, IS. That's, that's so, the one I want please. the most. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, without further ado, let us begin. As always, if you like the content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz to help support the channel, not only to my channel, but to Zeus's channel as well. The link will be in the description down below. He makes amazing Fire Emblem content and reactions like these, so definitely go check that out. And yeah. Let us begin. All right. Who's it going to be? I will say the. I think that's awakening music. Is it, it, or is it Hoshido? No, no, yeah. it is awakening. Oh, wait, no, it, wait. Okay, it's Ash. Oh, there's, well, there's Ash, okay. Yeah, okay, so rip uh, Asker Ash duo. Yeah, that's that that raises the chances of Asker Embla. Let's go. That's true. <laughs> I'm down. She looks really good though. I like that's a lot of text. I like the uh <laughs> That was, yeah. I like the outfit. She she has her C skill, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. If Asker is that probably means Asker would be the lead, because I don't think they'll give Severance so soon. If yeah, and especially since we just had Embla too. Mm -hmm. She's so fluffy. I love that. I know that is great. That is Elm. Elm. That is totally Elm. Wow. A drip. Yeah. My oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about the new year that makes I guess he's finally in the game, but still no base version. Whoa, that's cool. Why is he so small? Why is he so baby? <laughs> Beast near Trace 3. That's new. Don't celebrate just yet. I didn't even get a good look at that. Yeah, why is he so teeny? <laughs> oh, he's small. Pan? Really? The four-star uh, focus. I did not expect so that. So I guess... I guess yarn might be our tempest trial. Really Probably. Is a year of the rabbit? Yes, it is the year of the rabbit. But that won't be oh, until the 29th of January, I believe. Okay. Tax Speed Clash 3. Hmm. Oh, hey, we got the, I guess, the cheaper versions of that for, like, skill inheritance, I guess. Yeah. Having fun? Too bad. Interesting. Bonk. Please, please ask your Embla. I know. Yes! yes! Let's there go! It is! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my we goodness. Won. We won! We won! <laughs> oh, this is so good. Who's it is oh, Asker in the lead? Oh, they look, look at freaking Oh baby. my gosh, that was an amazing voice line. Zero. What in the world? Uh oh. Do uh, they disable? Uh, oh, I don't see any severance or undefended I didn't, there. I didn't see so it's probably going to be in the dual skill, I think. Could that would be. be my guess. I care not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's see what the dual skill is. I think they disable AOE. Is that what I saw at first? No Wait, severance. No severance. Really? Oh, it's it's like As it's just Asker. I saw a special cooldown reduction. Yeah, it is. Okay, we we definitely need to take a look at that later. Easy now. Right. I like their little symbols. Do you see like the blue on Asker and the red on Emble? That's so cool. I know. If they. Oh my goodness! I'm actually so happy. <laughs> Felicitations. Wow, they look Dude, so good. Attacks, he attacks with Faye. That's so funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they look <laughs> great. That is great art. Uh, oh my goodness. This is like everything I wanted. Like all I wanted was Asker Embla, and I'm so happy. Yeah, that was that was definitely the one I was wanting the most as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Do they have non Faye Pass Spark or? Okay, it's Faye Pass Spark. <laughs> Ah uh, no! 
Yeah, I've, Christmas I've season is over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. I'm back, Black Knight. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're so much better than the owl. Truly. <sighs> All right, well, let's go ahead and check out these skills, because there's definitely a knot we need to uh, take a look at. Oh, yeah. I mean, it does make sense that they wouldn't give out um, Undefended so soon after Embla, because they still need to sell yeah. her on the rerun. That is true. And she she comes back in March, right? Yeah, March, Please I believe. So that makes sense. Okay. My most sincere will wishes on the occasion of the new year. Oh, Ash. That was so much. So fluffy. <laughs> so fluffy. I know. All right, I could I could use some of that like warmth. Actually, it's super cold right now. <laughs> yeah, it's cold in my room too. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'll go ahead and read Heralding Horn to start us off. Um, accelerate special trigger. If foe initiates combat or if foe's HP is greater than or equal to seventy five percent at start of combat, grants attack plus six to unit and inflicts attack minus six on foe during combat, and also grants the following effects based on the number of allies within three spaces. If more than one, if more than or equal to one. If unit has weapon triangle advantage or if foe initiates combat, unit attacks twice. Interesting. If foe is greater than or equal to two allies, reduces damage from foe's uh, first attack during combat by 40%. And if greater than or equal to three, uh, foe cannot make a follow-up attack. And then I believe the rest is the beast stuff. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. So despite the wall of attacks, only half of it matters. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, she gets slaying, uh, twelve attack swing, um, brave. If you have weapon triangle advantage or you're on in the enemy phase, damage yeah, reduction that's... and deny follow up. Interesting. Yeah, she seems she seems like an enemy phase, like especially with distant reversal. Mm -hmm. They're now granting defense plus five on enemy phase. Right. That'll be pretty handy. Yeah, and this is the better. Um, like, it doesn't, like, give you chip damage. It just, like, flats out, like, gives you defense plus 5 plus DC during the enemy phase, I believe. Yeah, I think those are much better than the ones that do 5 damage to you. Mm -hmm. Did we get, like, a distant pressure for defense? Or no? I don't think we did. I can't remember. Uh, I think it's on a baby Ike, right? And that was distant dart, which... Was that plus attack? Okay. That was plus speed. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think we had like a like a chip damage version of this. So which is good. Yeah, it's like I guess just in stance in a way, and obviously it fits with close reversal too. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and we also have opening retainer, so we got the warping as always. And it's not locked to not locked to light. Right. Which is interesting. I'm trying to think. I mean, where would I use this? I mean. Hmm. You can use her as like a gale forcer since she does have slaying. Yeah, I, I feel like the it, the brave effect could be interesting too, depending on the weapon. Yeah, if you can color. get like the weapon triangle advantage during that gale force, that could be like really cool. But obviously, I, I think, missed it. What what color is she? Is she blue? She's blue. Or... Yeah. Okay. So against green foes, I guess there's Katria. Yeah, that's the main mm. one, I think. <laughs> of the greens. And unit. Weapon I triangle guess. advantage, yeah. Yeah. But obviously, I think for most people, she'll probably be um, an enemy face unit. Could probably even run vantage on her, honestly. That'd yeah, cool. I, I think being able to be bulky and then being able to provide support with the C skill is going to be nice. Mm -hmm. So she can be on the front lines and allow your other units to come up somewhat oh. safer. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, overall, pretty cool unit. Mm -hmm. Probably not a must pull by any means, but you know, still cool. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, nice to see for sure. I do not offer much. Yeah, we that was the damage reduction that we saw. Forty percent or something. Mm hmm. And Elm, looking a lot I'm more curious tiny. To see. <laughs> yeah, he's so small. What happened? I think it's a lot of like his. Wings are just not Who there. The I guess. Or like his huge me. staff. I guess that too, yeah. I mean, there's his wings when he goes to beast mode. <laughs> All right. Uh, why don't you go ahead and read Fang of Finality for us? All right. So we got Accelerate Special Trigger cooldown minus one. If unit initiates combat or is not adjacent to an ally, grants attack and speed plus six to unit, 
Neutralize effects that prevent units follow-up attacks and deals damage equal to X percent of unit speed. X equal to the number of foes. Then three spaces of target, including target times 10 during combat, excluding area effect specials. Max of 30%. Okay. So is that a max 30% true damage? Is that what I'm seeing? Um, yeah, max 30% of your own speed as true damage. So... Oh. Okay. Like... <laughs> Depending on how fast he get, like if he's around fifty, you can probably get around fifteen twenty ish true damage, I think. Max. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. If unit is not adjacent to an ally, reduces damage from attacks during combat and from area effect specials a lot per, by percentage equal to the number of foes than three spaces of target, uh, times twenty maximum sixty percent. Oh, I think he has this in his base weapon too. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, and I, th and I think the rest is just the B stuff with the one extra move space and the attack plus two. Right. But that okay. B skill is looking pretty interesting. Yeah, Beast near Trace. Like, I think that's probably the best option, like the best Trace skill for Beast because, like, especially for Flyers, removing that condition, you just get permanent three extra movement. That is, like, so good. Yeah, that's really, really good. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of Kanto there, too, is helpful. Mm-hmm. And of course, I, I find that neat that uh, Embla had that, and now uh, Elm has it too. That's actually true. I didn't notice that. Oh my goodness, that's actually yeah, so cool. Just like, just like the thematic, <laughs> the thematic side of it is neat. Uh, oh, I absolutely love that. Um, okay, I'm trying to let me let me read this second part. If unit is not adjacent to an ally, reduces damage from attacks during combat and AOEs by percentage equals number of foes within three spaces. So basically, um. Theoretically, you could get 60% damage reduction, it appears. I think uh, as long as there are three three enemies within three spaces of Elm, then you get 60%. Yeah. But it's, if there's just one, if you're initializing one, that's just 20%. Well, so, yeah, yeah, but I think it's, that's it says it's it's based on the foes and the target. So, like, if, a, say, a foe initiates on you, like, that foe... If there are like two other foes within that range, you get max damage reduction, I think. But at minimum, you get like twenty percent damage reduction. Yeah, which is still something. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's still pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely more player phase compared to Ash, but I guess that could also be thematics. <laughs> Don't celebrate just yet. Yeah, and the true damage is always nice too. Exactly. All right, Pain. Unfortunately, our uh, <laughs> four-star demote. Pain is in pain. <laughs> <laughs> is I was trying not to make that joke, but okay. Rabbit, <laughs> Sorry, low-hanging fruit. I had to. I know. <laughs> or should I say low-hanging whatever that weapon of hers is? Is that a... Never mind. It's a keen rabbit fang. I thought it was a mochi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, she's probably still holding mochi. Anyways, uh, let, I'm going to go ahead and read keen rabbit fang. Accelerate special trigger. It. Everyone's getting slang these days. Effective yeah. against cavalry foes. If unit initiates combat or is not adjacent to an ally, grants attack speed plus six to unit, neutralizes effects that prevent unit follow-up attacks, reduces damage from foes first attack by 40%, and also if unit speed is greater than foe speed, grants special cooldown charge plus one to unit per attack, per combat. Are we, are we sure this is the demo? <laughs> <laughs> At start of turn, and then the rest is speed stuff. So basically, yeah, it looks like it. yeah she gets slaying, cav effectiveness, uh, attack speed plus six, um, half of NFU, uh, first attack damage reduction, and flashing blade, essentially. That's solid. Yeah, that's really solid. That that just, to me, screams Gale Force, honestly. Gale Force, instantly, yeah. Yeah, just having that, not having to worry about, like, having heavy blade or flashing blade in the um, A or seal just obviously makes combat so much easier. And, like, she's basically good to go honestly <laughs> yeah no I, it's nothing we haven't seen before and uh, the effectiveness against uh calves is mm -hmm. really handy too yeah initiating on like a calf line or specifically right. in like ether raids or something yeah so overall pretty good gale force unit it's not like the most changing or like impactful unit but you know still pretty nice right yeah, yeah. it's not anything crazily new but not bad at all I do like that transformation. Yeah. Was that the mochi? I think I just saw it. 
It's somewhere in there. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, they look I, so good. They look, yes. I actually love the two. Those two together. <laughs> I think. Oh yeah, they're, no, they're they're great. Yeah, they're yeah great their characters. dynamic is so Stop good. Talking. A final tragedy, chapter thirteen. I love that. Mm -hmm. So is they are just like immune to AOE or what, what's up with that? <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you tell me? <laughs> All right, sure. Well, so they got the duality vessel, which accelerates special trigger cooldown minus one. I think the the entire banner has sling. If unit is within three spaces of an ally, grants attack, speed, defense, and res plus five to unit during combat. Unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack, inflicts special cooldown charge minus one on foe per attack, uh, reduces damage from foe's attacks during combat by 20% of unit's defense, and also, if unit's defense is above foe's defense, reduces damage from area of effect specials uh, by difference between stats of 1.5 times. Interesting. Interesting. So I see the Asker effect already. It has like part of his mm -hmm. weapon in there already with like the defense part. Right. I can't... And guaranteed follow up. Yeah. So like guaranteed follow up, all stats plus five, um, guard, which is really nice. Yeah. Um, and then the flat damage reduction that like Dimitri Spring Maria has. I can't oh, remember. Yeah. Is the AOE damage reduction part of his original kit or not? I'm gonna I check. I don't that real know quick. actually. Yeah, because I actually don't know. I I literally just pulled Asker recently, so I, <laughs> I I just now I I just like refreshing my memory on him. Yeah, I just uh pulled him recently too. Um, let me take a look at this no the aoe part is new according to okay. the wiki so i imagine it would be because they showed it off in the trailer so mm -hmm. so that is handy interesting so what i do like already is that the condition for his weapon and the condition for defense res finish four are the exact same with the three space of an ally right. that's handy yeah so it synergizes really well with that um let's see how does this aoe damage reduction work uh, if reduces damage from area effect specials by the difference between those stats. Okay, so it's it's basically that's why Lily did no damage because she has like no defense. Yeah, and so like whatever that difference between your own defense and the foe's defense, that difference times one point five is the flat amount of damage getting reduced. So this is still flat damage reduction. Um, right, just for AOEs, which is really cool actually i really like that yeah because most aoe's are just like attack and speed demons or just attack and something mm -hmm. else demons not so much right you don't really see too much defense mm -hmm. or if it's like a nuke they might have good res but terrible defense right so and like even someone like summer thor which has very low like speed like she doesn't have that great defense anyways it's mostly res and so for most of yeah. the premier aoe nukers um I think Asker will be able to tank this really well. Yeah. Definitely. And then providing support with the C is always nice. Yep. Always really cool. Let's see what the dual skill does. Yeah, I think it was like a six to all stats and like a special cooldown, like a times pulse. I, I didn't get a yeah, good look at it. Yeah, I, I saw that. I care not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm a bit sad we didn't get a uh, severance in the dual skill, but I think that's probably for the yeah. best. Cause, well, actually, it would have been interesting to see. Cause like, yeah, cause you only get you'd only get like one time to use it in like a right. summoner duels. So. Yeah, and like Embla exists now, so like you know that cat's already out of the bag. So what's the harm? Uh -huh. right? <laughs> <laughs> I think I feel like they only withheld it because of they want to sell Embla in March. Yeah, they want to wait for that rerun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyways, let's see this dual skill. Grants all stats plus six. You are definitely right about that. Two unit and allies within two spaces of unit for one turn. And grants special cooldown count minus one, two unit and those allies. And at the start of every third turn, if dual skill has already been used, unit can use that dual skill again. Okay. That's solid. So you could use it twice in summoner duels then. Yeah. You can theoretically use this twice in ether raids. Obviously, that's harder said than done because dual hindrances are everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> you could you could hmm. maybe if you're gale forcing you could maybe. Oh, well, I guess it wouldn't would it even be necessary on a gale force. Not really. I mean, I don't I I don't think there's a scenario where this would be helpful in gale force. Yeah. The only way I think it would be helpful if if 
like say you do your clear and you took out already all of the dual units you pop this dual skill and a, a person that doesn't have gale force charge yet gets like their gale force charge with that and all of a sudden be able to have another action and proc gale force that way if you know what i mean right Interesting. And that feels more that feels like it would be very niche and not very consistent yeah. but this isn't a bad dual scale by any means i wouldn't definitely think. not like this is Special really good cool for like summoner's good. duels and it's nice that it's not like limited mm -hmm. um by, right? like, it's the just titles. it's yeah well i guess that that would be more for harmonics but mm -hmm. uh still is really solid yeah like the the thing we have to compare this with is like spring sonia which gives minus two cooldown but obviously it only applies to um shadows of valencia and awakening units whereas this applies to everyone yeah so it's a little more balanced i guess it's yeah it's definitely more balanced although theoretic technically in conjunction with his c you can basically have the same effect as spring sonia so Oh, true, true. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That way you can <laughs> <laughs> you can get minus uh, two cooldown that way, which, yeah. Obviously, he. I don't think Asker has the warping effect that Sonya has, but still, obviously still super strong and will definitely be a very powerful tank at the very least, in my personal opinion. Yeah. Nothing else. I'm just glad it was Asker and Emblem. That, that was what I was hoping for. They look <laughs> so good. I'm so happy. <laughs> Uh, how miserable. Yeah. It's interesting how that miserable. they're... How <laughs> Yeah. Vile. Easy now. <laughs> I love her little... Uh, I love the little umbrella. What, what is it called? My parasol? Pleasure. Yeah, like the parasol. That. Yeah. That's great. Do not ruin this. <laughs> <laughs> so oh my gosh. They're, they're, they're so amazing. Night and day, those two. Yeah. I will say, it is interesting they're a ranged tank and not like... Yeah, normally, I noticed that too. In SD, you want like a frontline tank that's like that can attack melee units. Oh, yep, there's Yarn right there in the top oh, right. On the corner. Yep. He's just chilling. Yep, just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, and this banner will last. Um, how long will it last? A whole month, apparently. What? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Wow, that's really, that's a lot. Although I'm very confused of why, like, the first line is, like, um, January 1st to January 2nd. I've, I'm going to assume that's a typo. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that is odd. Uh, oh, wait, no, 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 it's, 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 sorry, it's day, month, year, right. I yeah, I was, I was like, I was like, yeah, okay, I was sorry. like, no, hold on a minute. <laughs> sorry, I'm... I'm too NA right now. <laughs> yeah, um, NA moment. Yeah. But yeah, uh, overall thoughts on this banner? I like it. I Obviously, I'm a free-to-play player, and I don't, I've got to be conservative mm -hmm. in my orbs, but having that duo here would be really cool sitting in my barracks. Yeah. I feel the same. Like, I'm F2P, so I don't think I'll be summoning for Dual Asker as much as I love those two, and also think that they're very powerful and probably meta um but like orbs are precious we are going to um get ahr the anniversary and all that yeah and that's this, right around the corner yeah and this also lasts an entire month so obviously you don't need to summon on day one you can just wait until the last day scout out your banners and make your decision by then and yeah um are you going to summon on this banner uh honestly i i i kind of want to but i also gotta say it? it's tempting it's tempting i know i i get tempted a bit easier than you do you mm -hmm. you've got a stronger willpower than i do <laughs> but i i think i gotta start putting some hard limits on myself because the anniversary hey, is around following the, corner, the how to so. save orbs guide let's go <laughs> yeah I've, I've watched it dude i've watched it <laughs> um it worked for a while there but you know sometimes it's just... <laughs> yeah all right <laughs> Well, yeah, thank you again for joining me on this reaction. This was a lot of fun and obviously super hyped about this as well. And yeah. Oh, yeah, it was great. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Hope you all enjoyed this reaction. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz. Not only to my channel, but to Z's channel as well. Once again, the link will be in the description. And yeah, let me know down in the comments how uh, your thoughts are on this banner. What your favorite units are you going to summon or not? And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And see you all next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.